Stop! I'm about to tell you about a wonderful place, but this is a wonderful place on private property. Please do not sneak out there. The owners put in a ton of security measures. You're just gonna end up spending the night in jail. Respect the owner's privacy. Now join me on this wonderful video journey, which will show you the place without getting you arrested. In Surrey, England, underneath the placid waters of an artificial lake lay the remains of a decaying underwater ballroom. Their past is both extravagant and tragic. About a mile and a quarter into the woods, you'll find a low stone wall. Follow that until you get to the small stone building with the arched doorway. Go down the spiral staircase and go through the underground hallway, bathed in the yellow light coming in through the water above you. You're standing in the underwater ballroom. Whitaker Wright wore a lot of hats in his lifetime. When he finally settled on something, he settled on something big. Big and illegal. Wright's London Globe Company floated bonds to prospective mining companies. And at first, his dealings weren't necessarily illegal, although maybe a little shady and misleading. The line between criminal and shady was crossed when Wright floated a huge loan to the Waterloo Railway. This was outside of his comfort zone and things immediately went south. So he started writing himself loans and then other loans to cover those loans. Fantastical loan built on loan built on loan structure. It was like his own little Victorian Lehman Brothers. It collapsed terribly and in 1900 he fled to America. After being dragged back from New York to England to stand trial, Wright was sentenced to seven years. After the trial, Whitaker walked out and asked for a glass of whiskey and a cigar. He took a drink of the whiskey, he took a puff of the cigar, and he fell over dead. What they hadn't noticed is him swallowing a cyanide pill right there in the courtroom. But what he left behind was impressive. He built an enormous 32-room mansion on the Leah estate, but the crown jewel and one of the last things he built in this estate was this incredibly beautiful underwater ballroom. Technically, it, it might not be a ballroom. It was probably sort of a smoking chamber, you know, hangout zone for him and his finance buddies. The only clue to his existence was a statue of Neptune that poked out of the lake above it. Whitaker Wright was not a man to do things in half measures. He lived big, he built extravagantly, he stole enormously, and then he died in the same manner as he lived, with a kind of Victorian exclamation point. Today, not much remains of his estate. In 1952, the entire estate burnt down in a horrible fire. But the underwater ballroom was safe from that. Bathed in yellow light coming in through the water, algae coating its windows, this is the leftovers of the extravagant life of Whitaker Wright. Subscribe here and watch more videos.